Hi everyone, how's it going? In this part two of the tutorial, we are going to create the back end of this decentralized application that will house our contract and allow us to deploy it to the Sepolia testnet on the Ethereum blockchain. As always, if you haven't done so, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on your notifications and like the video so you can get notified of the future videos I'm going to create to help you build this decentralized application and share it with your friends and family. So the first thing we're going to do is go under the video and click on this link. I built a readme a markdown file for you. So it's going to be a lot easier for you to follow along and use these instructions for future decentralized application that you might want to create. So once you have this open, also open, I'm going to use VS Code. You can use any IDE that you want. VS Code, I find, is, a, is the easiest. Make sure that you have in the extension tab of, of VS Code, make sure you, you uh, install Solidity so you can work with Solidity uh, smart contracts. Now, we're going to uh, open the folder, open folder. I created an empty folder on my desktop, I think, called Contracts. Open that, select it, and this is where it took me. I'm under uh, Web3 contracts. The first thing we're going to do once we have our contracts folder open is we are going to create our simple storage directory and also the backend directory. So I'm just going to copy all of this, go into VS Code, terminal, this is a new terminal, enter, paste it and then enter. And you'll see if you go to file here, then now we have our simple storage and the back end of our simple storage right here. And make sure that you're inside the back end folder of your simple storage directory. Next, we have to install, we have to initiate uh, M NPM and then install these uh, versions into our, uh, in this directory. Okay, this will take a few seconds. Perfect, so now that we have that installed, we're going to install this. This is mainly, I think if you're on Windows, um, so I am using a Windows machine, install. This will take another couple of seconds. Perfect, done. So now we're going to create a new sample contract project uh, with hard hat, copy this. Make sure you're still inside the backend directory. Start, enter. We'll use JavaScript. Uh, yes, root, enter. Yes, git ignore. And there we have it, it installed. And you'll see here that we have our new um, uh, node modules and everything that, that is needed. Next, we're going to open the backend folder and go into the contracts and we'll copy our simple storage contracts. So we'll copy simple storage, we'll call it go into contracts, make sure we change this default contract, rename, change it to simple storage, spell it correctly, no space, dot soul. And now in the simple storage, control A, delete everything. And we'll just paste the contract we had from our last video. Copy, paste, save. Great. So we have our contract. Now that we have our contract, we'll go into step six in the scripts folder in the deploy.js. We're going to fill it with this new code. Open a new tab. We'll copy it, copy raw file. We'll go to the deploy, scripts, deploy, control A, delete all the default code in there and paste the code that we just looked at. The simple storage is the name of our contract. Hello world is a string that belongs to the um, constructor, right? We initiate, we initiate it with a string and then we print out the address of the contract. Save. Next, we'll go to um, step uh, seven. We'll create a .env file in the backend folder. So we'll go back here. We'll make sure in backend, create a new file. We'll call it .env. Make sure to say .env. And in here, we're gonna copy these two lines of code like that. Now these two lines of code here, you need your um, smart um, digital wallet private key. So we're gonna erase this and we'll get our digital wallet private key. You'll have to go to your MetaMask. Open this, we'll go to MetaMask. 
uh, make sure to click on the video. Uh, this video on top will show you how to uh, create an account on MetaMask and install some, get some Sepolia uh, ETH in, in case you don't have MetaMask. Okay, password, unlock, and here we're going to get our account details. And here we're going to ex export private key. I'm not going to show you this, obviously. This is my password. Great, so I got my private key. And now I need my keynote HTTP URL. Erase all of this, leave the quotation marks, and then go back to quicknode, dashboard.quicknode.com. Uh, I And right here, HTTP provider, this is the link that you need to copy. If you do not know how to create an um, uh, endpoint on QuickNode, again, I have another video up here that shows you exactly how to do that in about 55 seconds. So we'll copy this, go here, save. Good. So we have these two um, variables ready inside our .env. Now we'll go into our hardhat config.js and we'll copy this code. Copy, hardhat, delete the default code, put the copied code. This is 818 because our contract is 818, remember? 0818, Sepolia Network, save. And now that we have everything inside um, uh, the hardhat config.js file, now we can uh, compile our uh, contract. So we'll click save, uh, copy, go here, make sure you're inside your backend directory. Make sure everything here is saved. Paste, npx hardhat compile. This will compile our contract and create this uh, artifacts um, folder. Solidity file successful. And lastly, we'll go into deploy our contract onto Sepolia network. Enter, this usually takes a couple of seconds. Great. So here's our contract address. You can copy this. Go into our ether scan. I'll also have this link under the video. Testnet, Sepolia testnet. Here's a link. And we'll put the address that we just generated. And now you'll see 21 seconds ago, we just created this uh, contract. And that's it. We just have our smart contract on the Ethereum blockchain on a testnet where you can, in future videos, see how to interact with it. So don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notifications, and like the video. And always remember, we're better together, so help each other out. Bye-bye.